Good morning, everyone. So this is my walk each morning from the mess hall to where I've got the mini mate parked. All these little stone-looking buildings. Well, that's not stone. And for the next three days, I'm at the Earthwood Building School learning about cordwood masonry. Make them notes from the day, having uh, a little bit of bourbon, a few chips, and uh, set up in office mode. It's not that cold outside, but I have thrown on the heater just to uh, take some of the dampness out. Getting lots of light, of course, from <clears throat> my LEDs, and uh, just doing a little bit of journaling and notes from the day. And uh, yeah, it's been a very good day learning or get re getting re learning, but also just reaffirming some of my ideas about cordwood and we'll see where this takes me I'll uh, I'll get set up in bed mode very shortly and uh, it's a I got an eight o'clock class tomorrow morning so um, gonna be up at 6 30 and I do want a good night's sleep yeah I guess that's it this is the mess hall where for the next three days it's breakfast and supper here, cooking on propane. We've got classroom work every morning. And this is with Rob Roy and Jackie Roy in their beautiful house, Cordwood House in upstate New York. Learning lots of things about mortar mixes and what we're going to need if we want to build a cordwood house. Kind of a squarish thing. That's pretty cool. Also, this there's no if there's a primary check, which there really isn't, it's probably this one at the bottom here. But that's also kind of nice looking. So we'll put that like this. Remember, and, and I can touch, in fact I you should touch this key piece. Mm -hmm. You should touch it. Our practical work is at Bruce and Nancy's house working on outbuildings and garage wall. In cordwood construction, one uses a lot of sawdust, both in the wet mortar mix and also dry in the insulation. So, a few tricks to give you a small, fine sawdust to work with. Today we're learning and on so I, uh, only 8-inch thick walls, which is it's great for outbuildings, but for an actual house, for insulation, you're probably wanting to go at least 12 inches, or 16 inches rather, and I'll probably do 18 inches in Nova Scotia. Oh, yes. And more tricks of the trade. You're going to make a lot of of pieces of cordwood over the course of building a house. So, uh, yeah. 
so the idea is is that <clears throat> this is um, it's counterweighted so that um, it takes the fatigue out of it so I can run it with one hand and then I can keep feeding wood in like this and uh, and I'm not uh, working it too hard. Is that, is that a 14 inch uh, bar? 16. 16. It, looks small. It, is. Okay. it is. Hopefully. <laughs> it was running earlier. So, one of the secrets to these little saws is you got to run it like you stole it. Okay? None of this. Right? There's only there's only two, you know, I know. That's all you need to know. And it's not just about wood. Lots of pretty bottles make some really nice light coming through the walls, do patterns, all sorts of artistic things. Learning how to stack the wood, pick the wood, get it insulated in between, and then point the wood on the front faces with spoons and knives. These are buildings that have been around for a while. They age really well. They're using living roofs on most of their buildings too. There's always a checklist to go over. So this is yesterday's work plus today's new work. And this is the entrance to their sauna. Using a little bit of glass bottles in there, slowly making our way up to the, the top of this wall. And yes, you can run your electrical wiring through this, uh, through these walls, no problem at all. Mixing up some wet sawdust for tomorrow's work. But yeah, these are just a few of the buildings that are on the, on the campus. Looks like stone, but not quite. Oh, and then there's the solar water bag shower outside shower. It was great. Very invigorating this time of year. So I had three really good days with a lot of really nice people. The last morning was absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of the bottle work. Scrounged windows. No electricity as such. Well, no, I take it back. They're running quite well off of solar. And a few non-wood structures. So this is what I'm thinking of doing. I want to build something off grid that I can sustain myself in for a few years. Probably be a couple years before I actually start. Have to say goodbye to the mess hall though. Got some ideas. I'm tending towards going round, but every time I start drawing, well, I just get a little bit out of hand. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching.